already.
looks like a fine traveling companion.
Hey, move it! Fine weather, ain't it? Enjoy the peace and quiet. Yes, I just can't do Oh, got myself. 
world rightly turned around out here. Yeah, so two days or, or more. <laughs> oh, Jerry Ann guzzled up all the chitterlings, so I go out hunting squirrels. Only Esther still got my damn warm britches. Man, I got poor circulation, even at the best of times. So, oh, November, my feet, they always turn around. <laughs> so, I'd like some shine to keep myself warm. <laughs> I woke up on a riverbank shivering like a shitting dog. <laughs> I get lost real easy. Ever heard of a place called Butcher Creek, mister? Yes, I have. Our entire village has been marked by the demon stealing our bodies and our minds. And we have all been cursed and ain't nothing we can do but just wait our time. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Now, I don't know if I like you, mister. You got the same look my uncle has. I'll take my chances. You stay away from me! Okay. I totally thought she was in the Murph Reaper. She was in a rod. Turns out she was just crazy.
anybody here? Hello? If you are here to rob me, I wish to make clear that I have weapons that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn and leave you just a puddle on the floor. Professor, I ain't here to rob you. It's me. I, um... I helped you at the pond. You did? Oh, you did. <laughs> In the buffoon. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved the biggest problem, and you mess it up. You did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, well, it, it is uh, the geometry of life, uh, the, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things, and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Oh, well, uh... I'm not much of a scientist. Yeah, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. Get shit on, America. You have the detector in your hand. The filament flashes when it points at the location for conductors. Follow flashes up in hills and plant conductor rods where filament goes solid. When all three conductors in flex, lightning strikes the rod, and we harness power of nature to make life. I'm gonna get friggin' struck by a lightning, dude. be living long at all if I can't shut my light.
<laughs> Can you hear me? It's a lot easier than typing, I'll tell you that. You can actually pay attention to the game and the chat at the same time. Jesus. Oh, nice. How far into it are you? Whoa. I believe it, you still did like a champ. You talking about, uh, Playing and typing at the same time. Yeah, it was rough. This is a lot better. Gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, it's fun, man. I enjoy it a lot. Do you have it on a uh, PS4? Yeah, uh, when online mode comes out, uh, we should do totally uh, link up for sure. I cannot freaking find this thing. It's not even blinking anymore. I think I went too far. Hell yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be nice. Mary was saying she was gonna get it. Like we should totally get a posse going. Top of this mountain.
Damn. I'll tell her I'm sorry she's sick. I got a little cough myself, but I'm not sick yet. Uh, that sucks. So this guy's totally trying to make the Frankenstein monster, right? Oh yeah, appreciate well, letting her know, Lee. I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. What now? Well, now, I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this! Fail. Am I missing something? Ah, oh, uh, the switches, the bloody switches. Okay, and uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. You yeah, okay? I better get ready to shoot this monstrosity that he created. Are you ready? Sure. Second time lucky, eh? Second time? <laughs> More like 7,000th. This is my life's work. It is incredible. <laughs> it's a robot. What? Now, I 
am so <laughs> oh, You just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. <laughs> I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons, they doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes, yes. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Right, bouncing fully. <clears throat> that was unexpected. That was pretty funny. Can I go back in? It's not. That was funny. Yeah, that was pretty funny, Lee. I was not expecting that at all. I love how Ar Arthur is talking shit about it. Like he saw it waddle a few steps and then it fell over. But I mean, baby steps. I mean, that's a pretty big achievement. I know if I was Arthur in that situation, I'd be freaking the hell out. That's a long way. I think I'm gonna fast travel down there. <laughs> oh shit, it's a cougar. Thought so. He is chasing that motherfucker yeah. down, dude. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Run, bro. Run. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <try. laughs> oh. Uh oh. Wait, what? There we go. Thought I hit him. Oh yeah, no doubt, man. For sure. Thanks for watching. Definitely play when you can. I've got... I don't even know how many hours. I mean, I play it like crazy off stream, so... It's definitely fun. Half of the fun is just exploring. Perfect pill. Sure, I've already been in here, but just to be sure. Oh, wait a minute. Remove plank. Nice. Sleep in here? Wow. One thing that I would suggest, Lee, um, especially if you're first getting started, do a lot of hunting. Because um, after a while, you can get this satchel I have, and it allows you to. Uh, well, it's the last satchel you can get, but you can hold way more things in your inventory than before. I think I have like 99 for everything. Yeah, carrying 48 of 99. So once you get, once you hunt everything on the satchel list and get it created, it's definitely uh, way better. 
Because the inventory management is one of the biggest problems I have in any video game. I get so freaking stressed out about always carrying too many things. <laughs> and never having enough room for the things I need. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. there's nothing wrong with grinding, I enjoy grinding too, it's just like, I think before I upgraded it, it was like, I could hold 15 of each thing, like that's terrible. Thanks for the tip, any more pointers you can give out? Um, hunt the legendary animals as soon as possible, um, because they give you nice cool trinkets that do different things. Uh, let's see if I can... Yeah, so, like, the wolf heart trinket, well, that's worthless. Where's the... Yeah, the buck antler. The buck antler trinket player receives higher quality skinned animal parts. I think it's so good, especially when you're um, trying to create uh, additional satchels or turn them into Pearson or the Trapper. It's so good to have, because um, sometimes I've shot things that are only two-star and it upgrades it to a three-star. So, definitely get that. And the buck, the legendary buck is located near strawberry I believe where was it yeah so your first camp is over here somewhere where's horseshoe here your first camp is here and then strawberry is right here and then there's the legendary buck right there so it's not that far you can get it early in the game um, just travel over there, kill him, take him to the trapper who's right there, and uh, that'll be an additional good thing to have. But they pop up all over the place. I know the uh, legendary like wolf and bear are up here. Somewhere. Yeah, there's the bear. There's the elk, and there's the wolf. Okay, is that the main farm site? Farm as in what, like, farming, like, points or loot or what? Spawn rates. Spawn rates are pretty good. Like, I noticed that when you, um, kill something and you, like, skin it or whatever, if it's a regular spawn point for it, he'll put, like, a logo here. So, if you, there's, like, squirrels that spawn right here, and there's snakes that spawn right here. Pretty good chance that they'll be here. Cougars. That's where you can get them to spawn, but cougars barely spawn. They're really hard to spawn for loot. Yeah, like once you start killing stuff, you'll notice that he'll mark the map, so then it'll be a good chance to be like, okay, well, I know that a boar is right here. So you can come here, and you'll pretty much always find a boar. Anything that's not hard to find. So, like, cougars are hard to find, so it'll still take them a while to spawn, but they're, like, right here. Um, things like that. The legendary animals, they only spawn once. Um... After you kill them, they put an X mark through it because they're they're not there anymore. You killed them, but uh, definitely after you kill them, to go to the trapper and turn your stuff in. <clears throat> and he'll make trinkets for you and all that good stuff. Make the game a lot easier. Easy. Whoa. Go ahead and kill these guys. I'll toss this. Get in there. Put it down, 
They are so far away shooting at me. Yeah, legit, like, build up inventory space. Plus, I'm, like, a guy that loves, like, I don't know, ever since Assassin's Creed 2, where they introduced you, uh, Ezio's base, and you could, uh, have, like, a little base that you could improve and stuff like that, I've always wanted to, uh, I've always loved to build up your base, so once I found out that you could improve the camp by putting rugs up and different things like that, I, uh... I went crazy in this game with that too. Like you totally don't even need to do it. It's completely cosmetic, but I spent so much time on and off stream just like hunting different animals for uh to improve the camp, at least the way it looked. Yep. Hey, Assassin's Creed 2. Oh yeah. Ezio's that boy. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even played the uh, recent Assassin's Creed. So I don't know if they're any good. I'm really, yeah. I'm really glad there's so much to do for this game. Plenty of gameplay. Oh yeah, there's like tons of stuff. I feel like this game is def there's definitely more. Um, it's definitely more fun to play than watch, as far as uh, just exploring things like that. Um, but yeah, there's tons here, and there's like little secrets, like um, like he'll draw things on the map, like up here, like you find that abandoned trading post I was just at. He'll draw it so you n have little landmarks, things like that. Um, after story bits happen, he'll draw, he'll draw stuff on there too. Uh, like down here, Braithwaite Manor. Those are kind of spoilers, but I mean, you don't know what they mean, so. There's like a little letter right here. But <clears throat> I enjoy it. I kind of want to know what, uh, online multiplayer is going to be. If it's gonna be like Grand Theft Auto, or if it's gonna be like the first Red Dead. I played the first Red Dead online. It was okay. I didn't get too into it. Um, that was back on PS3, but um, if it's like Grand Theft Auto online, then I think it could be really fun. I don't know how hog tying people would work as far as uh, just being able to yoke somebody up and then put them on the back of your horse. I guess they'd be able to break out after a while, but that'd be kind of funny if you just had a gang of people just running around, hog tying up other people and just traipsing them around town. I don't know those marks, but I know where to find them. Yeah, exactly. Open your minds to science. Learn about the yeah, it gets. GTA, GTA format would be pretty cool, yeah, I hope that's the way they go with it, I've heard rumors of like battle royales and stuff like that, and I mean if that's like a mode on here, that'd be okay, but I don't want it to be like that at all, that'd be weird for this game. I think like Grand Theft Auto mode would be really cool, like just, <coughs> you could have like your own gang or posse and like store up money. Things like that. Traveling I don't know. To you. The heist would transfer over because yeah, I guess you would just be robbing trains and different banks and stuff like that. So.
think groups would form different gangs and triads and mobs forming them. Yeah, I mean, that'd be really cool. If you could have, like, all the different gangs and stuff. And you could, like, set bounties on each other. Or collect bounties. I mean, that'd be fun. Eventually, may be divided with west versus east. Oh my god, did my horse stay up there? Fuck. Well, that blows. Stables right here. Out of the damn way! I do wonder how horses will be handled as far as it's like on Grand Theft Auto they have like insurance with cars but um, on here it seems pretty easy just to headshot somebody's horse like three times even if even if it has a health bar and then they're just screwed because you can't get a horse back unless you go to your stable and call it. Anything to keep the horses happy, right? <clears throat> You're gonna want a saddle that fits for you and the horse. I'm gonna go back to my poor son. Yeah, the only way you can spawn your horse back is if you go to a stable or uh, you go to your camp. Because you, there's the upgrade you can build at your camp that you can build like a stable calling center or whatever. And uh, you can call it back to your camp. But yeah, like you saw the icon, it was way up there because it didn't come with me when I uh, went on the train because I, <clears throat> I got off my horse too far away from the train. If you leave it there, your horse will stay there forever. Like, I had a horse, when I, this horse is an, uh, it's like a legendary animal kind of horse. I found it up here somewhere, like up in this area, I think. And, uh, my other horse, I took the saddle off of it and put it on that horse. And that horse was just stuck up there for, like, two days of me playing. Like, it just had a grayed out icon saying that I was too far away from it. Um, and eventually I just went back to camp and called it back. But other than that, it was just up there. And if I wouldn't have got wouldn't got it, it would have just stayed up there. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of cool. I remember in the lead up to the game, they were talking about, oh, you can't just. It's not like the first one you can just whistle and like a horse will come out of nowhere. I mean, to that extent, it's still kind of weird how you can be four blocks away and your horse will still come. But I do like the fact that if you're out of range, like your horse will just magically pop up. It's pretty cool. Don't worry, it'll wash off. Like she I give a damn. What the fuck? 
I love that actually more realistic in a way. Yeah, it is pretty It's pretty cool that they put that in the game. It does add a, a little bit of uh, realism to it. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my god. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. What's this show then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. Charles Chatternay. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Oh, hold on. Let me compose myself. That dude was a little bit upset about the uh, art there. I think that it's Greek. Or morning to you. Could be Roman. Oh, what in the world? It's a picture of me. Chardonnay, <laughs> he's just a terror. It's that's funny. Blush. That's pretty meta, actually. Oh, these are the pictures from the the wildlife guy. Yeah, there's the wolves. There's the horses. That's pretty cool. There's the gators. All right, that makes sense now. I actually like that they put I that in the game. The rush work baffling. <laughs> I'll laugh my ass off. Yeah, I thought that Trying picture was just like a random bit, but mess. that's actually from earlier Stranger Missions. That's pretty cool. I guess if I wouldn't have done those, those would have been different pictures. If I wouldn't have done those I'm missions sorry, already. I don't know. Well, let's just say I can't Any Easter eggs? Say. Look at these idiots. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> Huh. That explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. Oh, In shit. Her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. <laughs> Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe hey, she Hill, what's up? exposed herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. This is a freaking on, shit Wilson. show. This is no place for us. <laughs> Come here. Hey. I am a bitch. Oh, my God. You filthy little man. Oh. Oh. Come on, horse. We're leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Oh, my God. Come on, bro. Uh, you dude. Wasting oh. my time. Got my. Oh, wait, that's not my hat. That's not mine. No, I don't want. <laughs> Look at this hat. That's hilarious. No. Oh my goodness. Put him down. Grab your hat. Hey, guys. Dude. Thank you. Hello, your mic is okay. How are you? I'm good, Lovin' Hill. Glad you could stop by. Yeah, we're having a <laughs> pretty good time. Yo, Lee, that was, that was crazy. <laughs> uh, he's got all the people attending his gala. Are in his pieces. I think we are okay. The exhibition, what can you say? It was not bombing her. It was not. Arch desk people pushed him. I thought I was a fraud. 
a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that. All your canvases left. <laughs> I like the fancy hat on him. I told you I was a horn. <laughs> That hat was ridiculous, dude. I would not be able to play this game with that hat on. I promise you. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'll get me is kicking the balls. Keep it cowboy, but it did look nice. <laughs> yeah, for real. I could see myself wearing like a fancier hat if like I'm at like a poker game or something like that. But like traipsing around in the wilderness hunting bears or something with that hat on, I would look like a complete moron. <laughs> So what are the odds that that guy's totally gonna try and paint a picture of Arthur naked? Like, do we have any betting odds on that, or? But that's fun. <laughs> Slam classy. Alright, alright, I can dig it. I'd probably catch the bear off guard. He'd be like, wait, is that dude really here with that hat on? And I could just shoot him in the head. Might be a good strategy. Okay. <laughs> uh, that might be a little too much for me if I have to see... Uh, if I have to play that part, like it's a quick time of it, and they're like, sit still, or like, strike a pose while he's painting you, that'd be a... It might be a little too much for me. I feel so vulnerable. Crazy idiot! Something wrong or what? Damn, he crashed his kill. Yeah. Hey there, sir. <laughs> you agree? Ah. Alright, well... No more stranger missions are popping up right now, so I think I'm gonna do story missions. Unless one pops up. I'm gonna avoid Dutch and go to uh, Mary Beth, see what she needs in camp. <clears throat> Always need to do camp good, missions. Girl. <laughs> You'd have to kill him, Lee. Well, here's the thing, though. Okay, so... If you are already in the situation that you're naked and he's painting you, isn't it already your fault, not his? Like, you allowed yourself to be in that situation, so why would you kill him? <laughs> nah, game logic. True, it is video game logic. <laughs> Naked and painted. Yeah. It'd be a new entry on that show, Naked and Afraid. <laughs> nah, I think that it would totally be uncalled for if, if Arthur agrees to it or something like that. And then he pulls his curtain down and there's like a whole audience watching as he paints this dude. That would be over the top. And I could totally see this game happen doing that in this in this yep. game. Yeah. There we go. 
just gotta make sure there aren't any alligators, because that would be tragic. Painted Arthur naked. I'd have to kill him. Yeah. Oh, drawing someone naked. Yeah. I don't know what time he came in the stream, but he was painting. That whole art exhibit was naked people, like within the community, not just of random people. Arthur is the main character. That's who I'm playing, this guy right here. You love it when I fall. Yeah, it's pretty hilarious. I love the, the horse falls. Plus, my horse is so strong at this point, I can afford to have him crash a couple times. There you are, girl. Hello, Wolfen. Welcome to the stream. I'm French. I am American. Nice to meet you. I think I have a couple of French subscribers, actually. <laughs> I remember you falling from an entire cliff. Yeah, that happens a lot. It's pretty funny. If I fall when I'm on the horse, I can survive. If I fall straight down, I'm just dead. Get some beef stew in me. Hi, Uncle. Hey, I'm Morgan. Hey, Morgan. this down oh yeah so Lee if you're still in the chat uh, hello Arthur what's up Javier let me try to show you what I was talking about as far as like upgrading oh, stuff so you can Don't donate Pearson. things Don't forget to, go to on Pearson Mr. Morgan. and it'll say Pearson. can be used in crafting or sold if it says can be used in crafting uh, you always want to give it to Pearson at least in the beginning uh, because uh, you know, then, just come back later. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve. What you can do is you can come here and look. upgrade your satchels, and it'll tell you the recipes like one deer, perfect deer pelt, one perfect buck pelt, one perfect elk pelt. And you just make all of them, and then the last one here, the one I'm using, Legend of East Satchel, it allows you to have 99 inventory space for everything. Remember, you won't so that's find definitely the one like you want to work else. towards. I got it as early as the second camp. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can probably get it sooner if you just go to those areas um, to get those animals first. <laughs> Love and hell, your horse is your guardian, basically. Yeah, my horse is amazing. The right before I can make that. But these are also like the upgraded things that you can do. It's just cosmetic. It doesn't do anything, but it looks good and it's part of the base building that I love. So, And I'm a completionist. So... Same thing as Horizon, that's nice. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Horizon Zero Dawn. Hello, Arthur. Right. Hey, Arthur. You okay? You ever yeah. miss home? Sure. All the time. Gotcha. Yeah, I've, uh, I haven't played the new expansion to Horizon Zero Dawn, but I definitely played Hi the hell out of that. I like Aloy. She was a good character. Hello, Mary Beth. How are you, Arthur? Fine. 
How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> Yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. <laughs> Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these hmm. books, life seems so simple, but... In reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real oh, yeah. problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken uh -oh. by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman what? brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Uh-oh. Okay. Where are we yeah, heading? dirty. <clears throat> tell you on the way. Just get going. Me neither. I want to. I want the DLC, but I have to buy the game again. And quick. She's in road. No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. Is Mary that feisty girl? Nah, Mary's a. I like Mary. She's like a sweetheart. She seems like the most innocent person in our game. Uh, Sadie. Sadie's the uh, feisty girl. She's the one that dresses more or less, as they say, like a man. But she's she's just wearing comfortable clothes. Oh yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. But you don't know what happened? She killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. Someday I'm getting this game. You definitely should you do love it though. I've enjoyed it a lot. Of course I care. <clears throat> About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. I swear half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. No doubt. Well, I don't know. First Jack, now Tilly? This isn't good, Arthur. It happens, ain't nothing new. Just the uh, story mode alone has definitely yeah, been worth the game. I've put so I many know. hours into this so far. Never gets any easier, though. And when online comes out, I'm sure it's going to be great. If you get it, definitely uh, let me know. We can all play together. You have PS4, right? Yeah, obviously. Horizon. The. All right, Lee. Uh, thanks for stopping by, man. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. Hello, Mary Feisty. Yes, no, we were talking about uh, Mary in the in the game, not uh, Marianne. <laughs> Marianne is definitely feisty. For the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said. Oh, shit. Now, what are you waiting for? Get in there and fight. Oh, I don't have my guns. Crap. Well. Damn it, I should have brought my guns with me. Oh, well. No, boy. <clears throat> Wait.
w women on this game are crazy. Not just the women, everybody in this game is crazy. It's the Wild West, baby. Oh, what the? Why can't I shoot? Bruh. That was stupid. It's okay, Mr. Tilly. I'll tell you my experience next time too. Oh yeah, for sure. Let me know next time you're on, Lee, about how you how your experience on uh, Red Dead's been going. Let's go. Damn, they beat her up, dude. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? She looks he went out horrible. hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches. <coughs> Shoot him! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. There you now go, Tilly. Catch that bastard. Uh, uh, the one in the back of the Bring back the one in the front. He's the boss. There, straight ahead. Oh my god. Through those bushes. You're gonna those pay. Bushes. All of you. That's it. Stay on them. They're heading down the hill. Are you gonna the shoot water. him? Crazy old hat. Oh, there they are by the shoreline. Oh, look. I gotta drive and shoot, apparently, because she won't kill them. You hit the wrong girl. All right. I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. All right, lasso the gang leader. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Come on, get him, Arthur. I'm trying. This horse freaking sucks. Don't let him get away. Ah. Now make sure you tie him up real good. No, let's make it a run for him. Make sure we take him alive. Uh, make these nice and tight. All right, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. Let's go for a ride. Damn, this horse got shot in the head. Look at that. What a champ. Come on. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. <laughs> Of course he never does. <laughs> Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do huh. with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Coward. What the hell? Son of a bitch. Get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. 
guess. I know. I love his voice girl? acting. It's really, he, it's alone. really good. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish. Uh, yeah. Come on. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. <clears throat> With my snake skin gloves on. Think he'll come back? Yeah, he'll probably come back. But here's the thing. I feel like this game is the one where... If I wouldn't have killed him... If I would have killed him, his family would have came here and been like... Oh, you killed blah blah blah. So I'd rather him have the opportunity to actually go back and tell them because also it's like respecting her wishes right like she said that she wanted him to go and tell them so I mean she did just tell me that <coughs> so in a way I'm kind of respecting her wishes plus I'm kind of on the not pacifist run but as you see my honor is pretty far right I'm trying to do the uh, honorable thing I don't know, I may play it again and just do all the, uh, kill it, the genocide run and just kill everybody. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But also, usually in video games, uh, if you kill a player... What the hell? There's people outside. But also, usually in video games, if you kill a character, if there were any other missions down the line, you can no longer do them because they're dead. So usually it's always better to keep a character alive, even if it screws you in the end, just because you get extra missions out of it, usually. You know, so I kind of stick to that form in video games. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's completely video game logic because, you know, if this were real life, I probably would have just killed him. Because, like you said, I wouldn't want him coming back. But in order for good stories and extra missions, I'll keep him alive. Plus, I figure I'd do the same. Yeah. Plus, with this being a prequel, I'm not too worried about anything happening. Like, oh, are there multiple in I think there are. I've heard rumors there are multiple endings, but... We pretty much know that oh, the only characters guaranteed to survive just because it's a prequel are... John, Abigail, Jack, Uncle, Dutch, Bill Williamson, and Javier. So, I pretty, I'm pretty sure that... Tilly's either going to die, or she's going to run away with a new identity, maybe? Because I don't remember her being mentioned in the first game. Yep. I may be wrong. That game was a long time ago for me. Mm -hmm. 
And I got a new horse out of it. So that's pretty cool. It's like a Dalmatian horse. All these spots on it. I find it hard remembering names of characters even while playing. <laughs> yeah, you told me you have that problem like with movies and stuff too. I just retain useless information. Like I was like, I've been like that always growing up, so I can remember pretty obscure things sometimes. But I also loved the first Red Dead. It was my favorite story uh, until yeah. Last of Us came out. But uh, I tell you what, the in, at least in my opinion, the character assassination of John Marston is pretty heavy in this game because, at least so far from what I've seen, and I get that he was young, he's younger in this game, and you know you have to have room to grow, but he's kind of a shithead in this game. I mean, his plans aren't a hundred percent the best. He's kind of a dick to Abigail and Jack. And he keeps saying that Jack's not even his kid. I don't know if that's true, but I mean, he's saying it loud in camp to everybody. And Arthur's been more of a father figure to Jack than anything. Coming in. And seeing like, Back. like Javier right here, like I've done a couple missions with him and I've done some with Bill, more so Javier, but the fact that John would hunt down these people and <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> This horse is doing parkour. Uh, the fact that John would hunt down these ex-people members of his gang that seemed like they were really a, a family with him. Uh, it just seems weird. I mean, of course, they had Abigail and Jack kidnapped or held prisoner, but... I mean, they were also members of the gang, so it's almost like turning in other members of the gang for other members, but... Oh wow, acrobatic horse. Yeah, he's up there, man. That's pretty cool. I've been on quite a tear. Me and Mary Beth have been so worried about you. Oh, this is Sadie right here. Uh, you girls. This is the one I was talking about that's like feisty. Hi, uh, folks. Really you joining us then? I don't know about that. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Care about you. Fine. No you reason. Just making sure. If you say right. so. So she's the one that I was telling you, she's pretty feisty, like back in Rhodes, we got into a gunfight and she was pretty good. But so far everybody in the gang has had like their own personality and they've been pretty cool. Ridiculous. Now I Germany. I read about it in the newspaper. By next year, we'll all be driving. And flying too, no doubt. <laughs> See. I like a horse well enough to want to She got two plates. Well, Come on, fam. horse can ride in the carriage with you. <laughs> <laughs> now there's an idea. My god, what is he putting this slop? He waits until the meat is crawling with lice and then he cooks it. Oh, that explains it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you too. Mind your manners a little. Mr. Pearson, he takes good care of us. Where is Pearson? You okay, Mary Beth? Yes. Glad you and Susan got to Tilly in time. Yeah. Let's just hope that gang stays away from her now. Alright, well, I should be getting off. Sounds good. Let me talk to Tilly real quick. You recovered? I'll be fine. Thank you, Arthur. Of course. Just glad you're okay. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. Mary has a shitty voice, so go for Sadie. Man. <laughs> that is harsh. Mary's nice, though. Sadie's also pretty cool. I don't know if you noticed when he was talking to Mary earlier, he was talking about, <laughs> LOL. He was talking, or she mentioned another girl named Mary. Like, I think in part, like four or something maybe, I did a mission where I had to go 
meet an ex-girlfriend of his named Mary. She seems pretty cool. Um, I don't know if they'll ever get back together. Maybe, uh, maybe they could. But like he said, they just, he's an outlaw. He didn't change. And he says that she was a fool for loving an outlaw. But you can definitely tell that he cares about her. Um, interesting fact, you can't actually, like, sleep with anybody in this game. At least, I don't think you can. Like, when you go to the saloons, uh, and the prostitutes, I guess they'd be called, offer their services, uh, you can only, I think that it's decline or just say no, something like that. So, he seems to have some feelings for, uh, his ex-girlfriend still. It'd be pretty cool if he, uh, if they get back together at some point in this game. And yeah, I'm eating like a savage right before I go to bed because if not, he just starves away. What? That's so weird for a game like this. Yeah, no romance. Yeah, I mean it's not a an EA game, so or like a like. So there's no like branching romance trees or anything like that, but. Yeah, you would at least think that in like a Wild West game that you could go to a brothel. Which I don't think they have. They have saloons, but they don't have any brothels. Um, but I guess because this is a story-driven game first, that they w they have a narrative that they want you to fit to. And, uh, which, you know, it's cool. I like story-driven games. So, uh... They have a certain story, they have a telling, uh... They're basically saying that Arthur doesn't do that kind of stuff. OMG, The Witcher. So I may lose you right here, but I've never played a Witcher game. I've watched a couple of playthroughs, but I think Witcher 3 was available when I first, like, it first popped up on my radar. And uh, I'm one of those guys that, like, I didn't, oh, you know, I don't want to jump in in the middle. I won't understand it. And people were like, oh, you should totally play it. Witcher is literally full of it. Yeah, I know. From what I've seen, it is like Yennefer and all them. Yeah, I play uh, Dragon Age. Like Dragon Age is one of my. It's my favorite game. Oh, you love Witcher? Well, I have to look into it more for sure. Um. Mrs. Adler. Morning. But yeah, in Dragon Age, I know. Uh, there are like tons of uh you can I mean you can be sleeping with multiple people in those games. So Okay, what am I doing? Horse. Alright. My turn to take guard. All seems quiet, Charles. Good morning, Arthur. <laughs> what is up with these horses, man? <laughs> That's a huge horse, too. Oh, wait, where's my horse at? Oh, there it is. He's hardcore. Hell yeah, he's hardcore. Look at him. Man. He's big. Like, he's one of those, like, Clydesdale. Not Clydesdale, but one of those workhorses. That's probably how he gets his muscles up. Look at him. Proud of it, too. Oh, sorry. Let's go into town and see what Dutch wants. I guess Micah as well as Bill Williamson are with him. Because I haven't seen them at camp at all. That's another good thing I like about this game that's kind of realistic is that if characters are being used in a mission or they're going to be in a cutscene or something, they're like not in camp. So like Tilly, like we had to go rescue her. She wasn't in camp for the past couple of days and I noticed that. So I figured she was with that Mary Beth mission. So I think that's pretty cool that they actually do that. 
Because I've always thought it was weird in games where it's like, oh, we have to go rescue somebody or like, you know, somebody's over on the other side of the map, but meanwhile they're right beside you, and as soon as you get all the way over there, they like teleport there. Yes, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the realism. Yeah, it's pretty good. They, you can tell they definitely worked hard. Yeah. <clears throat> Although there are certain things that, you know, because it is a video game and you want it to be fun, you don't want it to be a Dark Souls-esque game where, you know, your horse and Arthur have a health bar, you know, so you don't get shot one time and die. Which makes sense because I'm sure they'll probably come out with that difficulty setting for the hardcore gamers, but could you imagine if you got shot one time and just bled out? Or if you got shot in the head, you just die immediately? I mean, for some people that's fun, but for me that's not fun. It'd be a nice trophy to earn, <laughs> but... Also, you can do pretty cool horse tricks too. Make it walk sideways. Make them jog in place. Do the classic sit on two legs. My favorite, though, by far. I wanted to do it ever since they showed it in the uh, the trailer reveal was the uh, the 360 the little donuts that shit is so cool oh yeah look there's Dutch and uh, John right there. <laughs> Let me actually grab my damn guns this time. Alright. That little pointless but still cool. Yeah, I mean, whoa, where are you going? Come here. Yeah, it's completely pointless. But I mean, it's fun little details like that. Because, I mean, horses, you you can actually do that with horses in real life. Like, I've actually seen people do that. So it's actually cool that they put that kind of stuff in the game. Also, I mean, if they just made the horses run in straight lines, I mean, it would just be like Red Dead. So, of course, you know, they want to improve the game somewhat. Angelo Bronte. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just a some slick little greasy-haired European. All right. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. John, Are push you? your damn hands down. You're like an idiot. <laughs> You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? That escalated quickly. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Oh, boy. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss.
Dentro. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Angelo Bronte, he's the guy that kidnapped Indeed Jack, apparently. <clears throat> to do with destroying the liquor business? We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodore. <laughs> he does look important. That's a very steep woman. <laughs> He's definitely going to be giving us missions here in this city. Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. Uh, John Marston. <laughs> all mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> Three of us cramped in on that couch. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> After you do this for me. But... Uh, there it is. Should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind. You tell me more about my manners. <laughs> hmm. I don't Salute. feel safe leaving Dutch here. Salute. <sighs> Damn, it got dark quick. Hey there, girl. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We no. don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. It's true. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. <coughs> I figured... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Grant's. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Look how big his horse is compared to mine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Alright, 
Mine might be a pony, right? I think it's because his horse is like, kind of like that horse that was doing acrobatics back at camp. Like it's supposed to pull like heavy stuff. Mine is like a race horse. It's supposed to be fast. <laughs> Let's find him and get the hell out of here. This is freaking. Are you gonna come up here, dude? This is ominous, dude. It's like a zombie's gonna come out and bite me or something. Oh, who is that? He's. Welcome to Baltimore. Keep looking. Freaking John is moving so slowly. He... How do I get over there? You hear something? Wait. <laughs> Sounds like somebody's been drinking. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. Oh, your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. That sounds like somebody's robbing a grave. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I hear something. In there, get in cover, and we'll bust the door in. You boys found my puppies watching. Oh shit! What? Where would all these people come from? How many you see? Let's play the boys. This ain't worth it. Look out! They're making a run for it. No, he you ain't. Bastards are trying to draw us out. Oh shit! Oh god! I fell for it. We should pick the right guy for it. You think you can rob us? Rob you? No doubt. I should have brought my shotgun. I got the weapons locked right here. Hardly see what I'm shooting at. Make a better ways to spend an evening. Next time Dutch can go and I'll have the drink. No way. You picked the right. One left. Smoke him out. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. I'm gonna go back to sleep. All right, thanks for stopping by, Love Now. All right, see you tomorrow. Be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Come on. 
Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Think there might be something in here. <coughs> Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. And here come the cops. Here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Let's go around the side. Coming this way, get down. I found a body. Looks fresh, still bleeding. Must have just been killed. They're still here. Stay close. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, there. I was gonna say, we cannot walk right up to them. Run, boy. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. for now come on let's just get there <coughs> come on quick let's get back to dutch well it's lucky i ain't a religious man let's just get back there collect our side of the deal you all right he best not be playing games with us he almost certainly is well, let's just see keep your head act normal How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, would you see where we're at once we got Jack? I mean, we also have that money that we found. We can just give him that. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you took your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Hey. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. <coughs> you sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. Spaghetti? It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. 
Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. <laughs> you know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Did you say thank you to John, though? I got my son back! Jack! 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 How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, Ooh, boy, Jack's hey, back. Thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Arthur's so stoic all the time. He's back, all right. Hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating? Or what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, we're tired. Come on, yourself, Susan. Good to have you back here. We Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, very kind. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. Okay, speak later. Sure. You not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. I'm feeling sorry for yourself. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo los corazones. Ay, 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 canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo los corazones. Uh, okay, well, let's talk more later.
should be getting off. You be good. Oh, hello. You okay, Pierce? Yes, indeed. Feels like we can move forward again. I hope so. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur. Have a little faith. Good to see oh, you smile no again, problem. Abigail. This is a party. <laughs> Thank you again. Truly. All right, all right. Ah, uh, I missed that little rascal. Well, I should get back to it. All right, then. Look after that kid. Oh, I will. He's a brave boy. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sounds good. So good to have you back. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. And to see a smile on your mama's face again. Hello, Miss Jones. Well, don't let me bother you. Let me know if you find candy. <laughs> you know, me you know and you should candy. go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't sure that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. Okay, speak later. Sure, Arthur. Maybe play something for Jack later. I'll ask him in a bit. Okay. We did it. Well done. That's a way to go. All right. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. I being a little fool and thinking it harm. I jumped in bed beside it to keep myself warm. We did it. Yes, we did. Thank God. All right, time to get shit face drunk. are grave robbers now. <laughs> Something like that, she. <laughs> okay. Yes, so see you later then. All right. Yeah, Molly, we got Jack back. I'm fine. Could have fooled me. Oh, I'm okay, thank you. Uh, I'll just watch. Suit yourself then. Well, 
I've got some more drinking to do. Well, <laughs> I'm not much company. Take care. I really wish I could give you your pocket watch, Molly. Javier plays good, don't he? He sure does. Well, let's have a good night. We deserve one. Getting serious over here. I'm sure you do. You see everything differently. You don't have to walk only half the way. They all sat with a cunning laugh. You have to push the other hand. They started as a big day life. okay? Clearly not. It's getting very tiresome. Yeah, she seems pretty worked up. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. Can I not speak to her? Dude, she's so I smirk, Mary Beth. I totally think that she's working there with the uh, the feds. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck up piece of shit. God damn you. <laughs> Take it easy, Miss Karen. Damn. friends my loved ones a plan is a real plan we are gonna leave this place and we are gonna find our own paradise our own heaven Tahiti Fiji Australia the real new world not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has acted out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are gonna be free. Free. Yes, we are, son. <laughs> Bill. Molly go. You all right there, Mary Beth? Yeah, I'm just washing it off. Molly is. Have another drink. It's a party after all. There she is. She's totally that disgruntled girlfriend that's like working with the police to. Because she hasn't been showing up in camp at all. Like, I can't. I have this mission that I can't give her pocket watch back to her. I've had this since like. Roads, like early roads, and I haven't been able to give this to her because she hadn't been in camp. And I think that she's working with the feds. Molly? Yeah? How's it all going? Oh, just lovely. Okay. Killer. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm going to sleep. You go ride an Abigail up. I wouldn't dream of it.
has arrived for you. Return to camp to read this. Well, what do you know? I'm already in camp. <coughs> My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours. Mary. Wow. Guess I'm going to help her. Oh, how about this? There we go. Alright. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Sure is nice seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. So is Molly gone again? That's what I'm thinking. And I still can't give her her damn pocket watch. How you doing? Oh, I've been better. Sorry to hear that. you'd gone looking smart as always one must have standards dear boy all right let's go help out morning mary l i already forgot her last name Come on, girl.
looks like oil or something down there. But there's nothing down here. At least we check. But if you think you can come back here. What do you mean? Hey, listen. I'm a changed man now. You speak to me days. like that, officer? I've done nothing wrong. Safe. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Is this like that Kiflon stuff from uh, Grand Theft Auto? Okay. You've made a wonderful choice. It is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is. Not what life could be, but what it is. And it is very dangerous. But with Chelonianism, it can be safe. Well, it's all in this book. Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a little. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. But his suit is like ultra white. Can I read the book? There it is. A handbill det detailing the ways of the Chelonians. Oh, it's just a pale. Please. This kind of closeness cannot happen overnight. Go home, my friend. Think about what you've learned. Grow. Hear the truth and rejoice, oh God, for you are saved Where is already heaven? in paradise. Where is Chelonia? If only you had the wisdom to understand it. Chelonia. America, they are the same thing. If savages could prosper oh my here, God, this thing how much is better long, shall the white man do in this sacred place? The white man, eh? No more kings. We are all kings. Our prophet told us this 100 years ago. Good morning, partner. Move now. Come on. All right, let's go see what Mary needs. She's right, chilling at the girl. hotel. looking at Ah, uh, yeah, he still cares for her. Arthur. 
Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. <laughs> I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... It's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. <laughs> he suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Should have. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But, well, I don't know. Run away with him now. Join the gang. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. Okay. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Aww. Arthur's a sweetheart. What kind of a state he's in. Okay. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. <laughs> Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. 
I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. Oh, her dad looks rough, dude. He went around the corner. Hey, stop a second. You're too close. Hold up, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Hey, did I lose him? Where'd he go? Not that way. Don't lose sight of him. I've definitely lost sight of him. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk off <laughs> oh my face. <laughs> Her dad's a. Ain't you a little old? A aggressive. Damn you. Annoying drunk. He's heading across the road. Nope. This is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Arthur, why are you going that way? Am I going what way towards him? <clears throat> the dialogue they wrote for her follow sequence here is pretty annoying. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's neither. Waiting for a woman of dubious morals. He's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money, and should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even I've to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Oh, Don't God. hurt anyone, Arthur. <clears throat> He'll probably catch, catch up with the buyer. Oh, you like hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. God damn it. Where's my horse? Come here! Oh my god, dude. Are you kidding me? 
Alright, I'm still on his horse. Go, 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 go. Hey! Stop that coach! Get back here! You hear me? Stop that damn coach! Hey. God damn it! Like this is pretty secluded. We're in the middle of you can't do this. I just pull over to the side. <clears throat> To the swamp, good sir. Easy. Get out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Here, yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. I'll take this back to town since my horse wasn't on. Yep. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Hell yeah. Head to the theater, perhaps. <sighs> Let's do it. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you, and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, 
Shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lynn. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> it's sort of beautiful in a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. Oh, this is nice. How about <clears throat> here on the right? Sure. After you. I'm glad Arthur gets to have a good moment with all this bad crap going on. Thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a not. Are you of in the a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare. For the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly Stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, Robin. <laughs> for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Perfect. 
Oh, I see. You, you, you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Stop it. <laughs> Arthur's an asshole. Wonderful. This lady is exotic as all get out. This lady is exotic as all get out. She stays away from the curtain. Exactly. Burn down the entire building. Hello, fire I feel like this would be more impressive. I can't think of anything worse. I feel like this would be more impressive watching it, a real person do it than a computer sprite. <laughs> I guess it's not a sprite, but it's still a digital representation of a person doing it. It's far less impressive. Same guy. Wow, she's exotic, huh? Like he is so gonna try and get up with her after the show. I was gonna say get her number, but I guess they don't have phones. Enchanting! Mesmerizing! She ah, is yeah. truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Whoa. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur and Gay Party! <coughs> There's a place in France where the naked ladies dance. There's a hole in the wall where the boys can see it all. Who is this dude on the side?
this, this guy. This dude's my hero right now. What is he doing? Look at those fannies, he said. <laughs> oh, wow. Standing ovation. Oh, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. That was a pretty good show. They definitely knew when to end it. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh. All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Do it. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. Oh. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty, but I will once I get some money. And I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town and I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Aww. Poor Arthur. I like that he's really loyal to the gang, though. I mean, obviously, he's like the number two. Man, the Dutch. I guess who's in, so maybe he's number three, but he's super loyal to the gang. I like that. It seems like he's far more loyal than John is. Again, I don't want to be shitting on John, but it seems that John was so willing to turn on the gang in the first Red Dead and be like, yeah, I'll hunt them all down. I'll kill Bill Williamson and Javier. And I mean, 
It seems like Arthur wants nothing more than to run away with this woman. I mean, he clearly cares for her deeply. But, I mean, he immediately said that he's got to take care of some people. A.K.A. the game. Which is honorable. I like that. needs to speak to you. Oh, I guess... Oh, my goodness. Arthur's wearing a suit. Oh, wow. The garden party. The gilded cage. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna run back to camp. That was a nice little mission, though. I enjoyed that a lot. What you think you're doing? Look out! Again, Arthur being able to take a step back from being a one and fugitive <coughs> and being with the woman that he loves. Got her brooch back. Tried our best to save her father. And got to enjoy a nice show. But this being a western, I feel like that definitely is not going to happen. The happy ending, that is. I really hope she doesn't die. I have a feeling that Arthur's going to die by the end of this. Because Arthur just seems like such a good character, badass character, that he definitely would have been somebody that John would have had to hunt down in the first game. Probably first, just because how awesome he is. I mean, he seems pretty cool, at least. He seems like he's the best with a gun, maybe, in the whole game. I don't know. We will see. Oh my goodness, this turkey is still here. It's me, Arthur. Good to see you back, Arthur. What's up, Kenneth? Yeah, this is PS4. Welcome to the stream, by the way. side missions here. Hold on. Hunting for Pearson. There's this coach robbery with Lenny. Still no Molly. Still no Molly. She's she's working with the feds or something because she's like not in the camp ever and I can't give her this freaking pocket watch. Molly has asked for a pocket watch or a pocket mirror sorry. Give Molly the pocket mirror. I have it. It's in my inventory. I cannot give it to her. Oh my god, there are so many. Oh, wait, what? No, I don't want 
about this horse? Okay, yeah. Let's see what time I'm doing. 8.03 p.m. Uh, I should be ending the stream, but I want to do at least one of these. Let me go hunting. I'll do the hunting. How about that? I'll do hunting for Pearson, and then we'll call it a stream. Hi, Mary Beth. Arthur? I'll grab a quick bite to eat. You gonna wash off that blood? <laughs> Are you worried about it? Reverend? Hello there. Hey, Josh. Good evening, Arthur. All right. You know, my mom used to make something like this when I was a girl. She did? Yes. I hated it. To be the happy one. I don't know. I'm starting to think maybe even the good times weren't as good as I remembered them. It's gonna be okay. Karen. Evening. Man, that happy moment we had in the theater didn't last long, did it? <laughs> Come back, everybody seems so depressed. The weight of the world is on them. Talk to Pearson and start this quest. Jump, jump. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Arthur, you free? Sure, old man. Ah, <coughs> old man nonsense. I'm in the prime of my life. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How you getting now? Bored. You see that swamp, Arthur? That's God's own pantry. What are we eating? Venison? Come on, let's go gather some crawfish. See what else we can get. Crawfish? Yeah, crawfish. Finest eating there is. It's not just crawfish. No, there's monsters out there that'll eat a fella for fun. Oh, Arthur, I thought you were a man. No, sir. <laughs> when it comes to prehistoric monsters, I am very much a coward. <laughs> Pearson would lose his mind. Where's my where's my satchel? Hold on. Where are they? I've got nine on me already. I should just turn around and be like, hey man, you could take half of these. <laughs> Frost from us, we'll take a look. All right. On the starboard side. The what? My left, your right. This is a boat, Arthur. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay, go slow so I can see. My eyes aren't what they used to be. No, no, ground is too high here. Keep following the shoreline. What exactly are we looking for? We're looking for low ground and a lot of muck. Stop your whining, please. It's beneath you. This is the place. Now tell me, Arthur, have you ever birthed a cow? 
No. What? It's nothing like that, but it's equally as gruesome if you're squeamish. You're really selling this, aren't you? And I have a birthday cow. I've already picked a ton of crawfish. You just stick your hand in the hole. Is that what you're talking about? You gotta reach in and pull the cow or the calf out? Now, do you see this hole? Yep. Well, it's sort of like a natural trap. Just wanna stick your hand and watch. And there! <laughs> there, you see? Good. Well, seems easy enough. Uh huh. Let's go find another hole. So, how long were you in the Navy? Oh, years. Well, it must have been a year, at least. Or close to that. That's quite a range. All water under the bridge now. I bet you this dude no was in there for like a couple months. <coughs> He's totally one of those guys that's like, oh, okay. yeah. Another crayfish hole, you see it? I served in the armed forces. Mm, totally. It was just in the reserve. You try this time, time, Arthur. And remember to reach down deep and get right in there. They like to dig in, the little blighters. Alright. Best not to think about it too much. Oh, I got something. Nicely done. Why don't you see if there's any more down there? Alright. There we go. I bet there's more down there. What did I tell you? Ah, okay, come on. Let's try another hole. Won't be much of a gumbo if we don't find some more. Ooh, look at those gators over there. Those are three of them. Get down. Get down. Talking of other creatures. There. Those gators? Yeah. Three. And they're female. Must be guarding nests. So... Gator eggs. Really valuable, even better eating. I love cooking with them. Okay. Tell you what. I'm gonna sneak over to the other side of them, draw their attention, and then run like hell. Huh. Assuming I don't get eaten, you go plunder the nests. That's your plan? You're madder than I thought. Shh. I've done it before in Sumatra. It's easy. I've heard that line before. Oh, ye of little faith. Wait here, Mr. Morgan. His fat tail. I hate yeah, my civil war knife. Yeah, that looks so much better. God, there they go. Oh my God, look at that, dude. Holy shit. Oh my God, that was terrifying. Oh, there's the eggs. Oh, they're coming back. Oh, I gotta hurry up. Oh boy, hurry up. Are these the last ones? Please be the last ones. There's some over here. Oh, they're coming. Oh, oh God. There cannot be more, are there? Where are they? Oh, now it says return to the boat. Come on, dude. <coughs> dude, those gators were chasing after him so fast for how big they are. I would have been absolutely terrified. Oh, God. Oh, my God. They're coming after me. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. All right, sir. Take us back to the dock. 
Excellent. That's what I call teamwork. Whoa, that kid is flying. You move that fast. People pay a lot of money for those eggs. I'm told there's a collector in San Denis who gives top dollar for them. For millinery of all things. Hmm. Yeah, who doesn't want a hat with an egg on it? Well, this has been very pleasant. Very pleasant indeed. I need to find that collector. I've got a ton of gator eggs so far. They weren't that hard to get, though. That was fun. Uh, I must get out more. Is that your idea of fun, is it? <sighs> oh, what? Hey. Here, have some crawfish. And give me some of those eggs. <laughs> hey, maybe you could hatch that. Get yourself a new friend. There's a thought. A new reptilian best buddy. To replace Mike, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Rustling. Huh. Uncle Nother head down Hill Haven Ranch to rustle some cattle to sell to Clay and Clive for cash. Hey, I'm getting my Kanza. Side missions now. I think I'm going to end the stream here for tonight. Um, I'll be back on tomorrow. 
uh, stream schedule is in the description obviously from 12 to 3 Eastern um, whatever time that is for you I'll be on the same time tomorrow uh, thanks everybody for stopping by